Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about GATE and we also talk about the GATE exam, alternative exams. So, so yes, so in order to pursue that dream even further, we had discussed in detail about one very prestigious institute which is very famous for its research background and have set its milestone in the mathematical world. Okay, and have given a lot of mathematicians all throughout the world. So, CMI, uh, as you can see right here, the link for the video where I talked in detail about its uh, background, the introduction part, what CMI is all about, all the academic programs it offers for admissions. And because uh, for the coming academic session, the admissions have already started. So what all are the important dates that you have to follow in order to start applying for it and you know, exam is on May 15th okay coming May 15th its entrance exam is there because uh, it also have a computer science related program so this is the video talking about the programs which are in line with the mainstream of this YouTube channel that is MSc computer science and MSc data science as CMI believe excellence in research and teaching go together simultaneously and that's why CMI started uh, along with its undergraduate programs it also started postgraduate programs like MSc in computer science in 2001 where it uh, established that students get to uh, you know experience the most recent uh, research given by its experienced faculty who are providing the old theories along with the fresh applications and outputs so with that idea it started msc computer science now uh, one thing which i want to mention here that don't go by the name of the degree don't say it's msc it's not mtech okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter with, when it comes to what you are going to learn there who are going to teach you and where you are actually learning and who all are your peer you know uh, around you so uh, when you are in the mindset of excellent people and we, you are taught by the you know one of the world's uh, renowned people and academically strong people then it doesn't matter it's MSc or it is MTech it's all important is you are learning something which is exceptionally good and unique the details about the two programs uh, MSc computer science and MSc data science both are two year program MSc computer science started in 2001 MSc data science as data science itself is a new baby I mean it's uh, it's not as something which is very old so to serve the booming demand of data scientists in the market and also to stay in line with the current research in computer science CMI started another new program MSc data science only in 2018 in fact uh, this year the very first batch for this uh, program is going to get passed out so we really don't have much data but we have data about CMI and we, we have the name of CMI uh, which have proved itself again and again now comes to the eligibility which is very important for everyone to know so any undergraduate who has passed out of BA or BSc or B Mathematics or B Statistics or B or B Tech in any discipline okay any such undergraduate is eligible to apply for these two programs provided that uh, for MSc Computer Science the candidate should have a strong background in Computer Science also for uh, MSc Data Science the candidate should have a strong background in Mathematics statistics or computer science next comes the selection procedure for both the programs how a candidate gets selected so for msc computer science there is going to be a written test for msc data science also there is going to be a written test okay for all the programs except the phd in physics cmi conducts its own written test exam which is an entrance exam and this year this exam is going to get conducted on may 15th 2020 okay for both of them for all the papers for all the programs uh, the exam which is going to be different for all is on the same day the time slot when the exam for these two papers is going to be is in the afternoon session 2 to 5 okay uh, again uh, MT computer science on their information brochure they have mentioned it is going to get selected only through the written test they have not mentioned anything about the interview but for the MSc data science they have mentioned it is going to be a written test then shortlisted candidates will be called up 
for the interview round and the final admission will be based upon written test plus the performance in your interview okay coming to the scholarship thing uh, they have not clearly mentioned what they have as scholarship or fellowship or stipend but they have said something that it is available for MT computer science but nowhere uh, they have mentioned anything about the MSc data science so it's not known whether the scholarship is available for the DS uh, part or not but yes it is known that it is available for CS section now let's talk about the most important part of this video that how the written test is going to be what is the pattern what are the what is the syllabus how the questions are going to be like so it's def definitely different for both the people both the programs for computer science it's a distinct paper for data uh, science it's a distinct paper and so is the syllabus and the pattern okay now let's understand understand it completely for msc computer science uh, the questions which are supposed to be asked are from discrete mathematics probability theory Automated theory that is TOC, data algorithms analysis like you will uh, be asked about the O notation, the time complexity, the uh, recurrence relations, the searching and sorting algorithms, the dynamic programming, divide and conquer, greedy method, everything. Okay, data structures, the entire structure part. Okay, logic theory, graph theory. So this is the part which uh, makes up your question paper for computer science. Let me come to the data science. For computer, uh, for MSU data science, uh, they actually check for the basic aptitude in computer science, in mathematics, and in statistics. These three are the base. So for that thing, they ask questions from school level mathematics. And in fact, they have in very detail, they have mentioned everything in their, uh, in their website, uh, what they mean by school level mathematics, what all topics get covered in this, okay? Then discrete mathematics is part of here, logic, uh, probability theory and programming, basic programming that you understand the pseudo code or the algorithms given and how it works, this kind of understanding they will check about. So this becomes a syllabus for both of them. Now come to the uh, exam paper with the paper format. So uh, both the papers are going to get divided into two sections, part A and part B. Now let's talk about the computer science. The part A for computer science will have multiple choice question, MCQ, objective type questions. They are supposed to supposedly going to be 10 questions of three marks each. Okay. Then the part B is going to have subjective detailed answer question where you are supposedly supposed to have seven questions of 10 marks each. Okay. This pattern I'm uh, mentioning here from the past papers they have put on their website. I'm not very sure, I'm not an expert, I'm not the part of CMI which can claim this is going to be exactly same the coming year, but this is how it has been in the past, okay? Now, uh, in this, there is no such condition that you have to clear this part and then this part will be checked up. Uh, you are, this is a, this is a paper which makes up a, a complete three hours, so in three hours you have to solve these questions okay so this makes uh, 10 plus 7 17 question in total and i think it makes up uh, 100 marks of a paper okay coming to the msc data science which is entirely different from this part don't get confused i'm talking about two different things now the part a for msc data science it is going to be a multiple choice question plus single answered question uh, in total supposedly there is going to be 18 questions in part a Important here is that this part A is a screening test. Screening test means if you clear the minimum marks in part A, then only your part B will be checked out. Otherwise, part B rejected and you are totally rejected out. Okay? So, you have to gain minimum marks in this section to get checked for this section. Okay? Of course, the entire merit list, I mean the total marks will be later on, will be done by adding the marks from both the sections so it is important to earn as much in pos in this also it is important to earn minimum to get checked for the next section part b has short answer questions supposedly 18 question and this is the main paper because uh, main as in i mean this won't be checked unless you get the minimum marks over there so this is the two different descriptions about both the exam papers for both the sections 
their dif different syllabus. Please don't get confused. If at all you are, please do put comments in the uh, in the comment section so that I can clearly write there. The best thing about a CMI and its exam is that they have put up all the previous year old question papers on their website. The best thing is not only the question papers, in fact their solutions are available on their website which are solved by them only, definitely. So that makes the best part because you get to see the question right away with the answer, how to approach it, how to solve it. In fact, uh, when you go for the subjective part and you see the solution, you will learn that how you should write your answer in the exam. Because many times I have seen students know things, they know how to solve it, but somehow they don't answer in the way it fetched the maximum marks or it fetched the correct marks. So this will be the uh, exactly right thing for you guys. So please go download all of them. Start solving them right away if you have decided that you are going to appear for this. In fact, right here I want to mention this CMI papers and their solutions are going to be a very really big help for all those who are going to appear for the ISI exam. And I'm sure most of you will try to appear for both the exams. So yeah. One important thing that I want to mention here is uh, that you can apply in, in combination of PhD plus MSc. So uh, the, there are combinational PhD plus MSc options are available. Go on the website of admissions and check them out. Also, you can apply in the combination of MSc. Combination means if you apply for, uh, uh, like if you prefer uh, for MSc physics test, uh, sorry, MSc Mathematics test and uh, then if you apply for that combination that I want to go for all the three programs and I want to write the exam for MSc Mathematics then that one exam is sufficient enough to get you evaluated on the three MSc programs. This is what they, have, they are trying to say. If you want to select for MSc Computer Science then MSc Computer Science is sufficient enough for you to get evaluated for both MSc CS and MSc Data Science. Okay. You can find out more details about it on the website, so please go and check that. I wanted to mention it so that you don't miss it out that there are possibilities for combinations. Again, because all the exams are on the same day, so uh, and of course, you will be shortlisted based on your performance. Like, they will set cut off for both the programs by one exam. Who goes in this and who goes in that? Now, coming to the future scope, I'm not taking up as placements, okay? Uh, here I want to mention one thing. It won't be an exaggeration at all to say that CMI is one of the best school in the world to pursue mathematics. But at the same time, this is the best place to study TCS, Theoretical Computer Science in India. Most of the students, because uh, the kind of environment you live in, the kind of uh, knowledge you gain and the, you work in, you tend to get a you know a mindset that uh, you want to study further, you want to do some sort of research, you get specific mindset that I want to crack something in this. So most of the students go for the further study at the best academic institutes. To mention few of them, the students from CMI have gained admission in Ivy League institutes. Okay, you must be knowing about that. And the other top research institutes all over the world, of course in IIT, if, if it comes to India. Their student goes to IISC, IITs, ISI, TIFR, what not. Okay. Some of the students uh, do change their mind and they go in the field of financial mathematics and management economics. So they make up their career in the different field also. Depends. Some of the people have become a very early startup founders uh, coming out of CMI. People do join R&D labs and MNCs which is there everywhere and of course I need not to mention any name over there. Also CMI has uh, uh, you know formed a society which is named as Elgo Labs and this society works to make a better interaction between the CMI and the industry. So it provides the train it provides the details for the training programs it supports its students to do their training because in when you finish your very first year of MSc, you are supposed to do an industrial training. So I think this is it all about uh, the CMI programs, MSc Computer Science and MSc Data Science. I have tried to provide what all I could. If at all anything is left over, please do ask in the comment section and 
I am going to give you all links which have been uh, you know mentioned in the, the video duration uh, about the previous papers, uh, the course, uh, the syllabus and the admission portal and everything in the description box. Uh, you can ask me anything in the comments that you know very well. So please uh, go through the video, uh, check out the new option I have provided you in your hand uh, which uh, can still make your future bright and uh, do share this video with your friends so that uh, they can also know about it and i will see you very soon in the next video till then bye bye